In this episode, we explore what it's like for astronauts to sleep in space. So that's sleeping. That's sleeping. Yeah. Project Janos, you are go for launch. Hey, Josh Bernstein here. You ever wondered about sleeping in space? Well, sixth grader Finn has. I wonder how astronauts sleep in space. Do they sleep in a bed? Excellent question, Finn. And I've got a few more. How do you sleep in the bed when the bed won't stay on the floor? How do you even stay in the bed? Do you sleep as well in space? Do you dream? Those are just some of my questions. Let's search for answers together. Getting a good night's rest is important for anyone and critical for an astronaut. The Apollo missions were short. Studying sleep wasn't a priority. It wasn't until low Earth orbit laboratories like Skylab and the International Space Station, or ISS, that NASA began to study the impact microgravity has on sleep. To learn more, I'm visiting Space Center Houston in Texas to meet Jennifer Hammond, a Boeing engineer who leads ISS mission evaluations. Since we can't go to the ISS ourselves, we're using their space station exhibit here on Earth. I'm going to show you uh, some of the cool things that we have and what it takes to live in space. Here's one sleep station right here. I'm going in right now. You can follow me if you want. So this is your everything area. Okay. Workout, sleeping bag. You got a sleeping bag on the ceiling? Yeah, anywhere. There's a sleeping bag here? Yeah. There, remember, there's no up and down. It doesn't matter if I turn over and I sleep upside down. I can't have it. I don't have any sensation in my head that tells me that I'm upside down. So it really doesn't matter. It's kind of weird for, for, for like from my point of view. Yes. Like sleeping on the ceiling, but in space, there is no ceiling. There is no ceiling. And you just Velcro whatever you want to anything? Uh, yes, so you'll see Velcro patches so crew can place their personal belongings and things. You can't just like put it down on a surface. There is no right. surface right. really. Yeah. So they have to have a place to stick it, otherwise it'll just float off. And this is where they, someone would sleep? Yeah, yeah, why don't you get in it? Okay. We can, okay, I'm, I hear that. Like, this is legitimately what it looks like when you're this on the ISS? The, yep, what you are trying to do is just keep yourself in one spot to sleep comfortably. It's a great sleeping bag. And what's really cool about it is we can zip it up. And then we have little arm holes. You can have arms in, arms out. What is this for? That you want to put either around your eyes or around your forehead so that it keeps your head up against that pillow, this like, back pillow. That's to hold your head in place. So that's sleeping. That's sleeping. Yeah. It feels weird for me because uh -huh. I'm not used to sleeping standing up, but right. that idea of standing up doesn't exist in space. Correct, it does not, right? So they don't feel that they're standing because they're floating at zero G. Oh, cool. To hear about sleep from someone who's actually been to space, I'm meeting astronaut Dr. Scott Parazinski at Space Center Houston's Skylab 3 exhibit. A veteran of five space shuttle missions, Scott has slept in space for 57 nights. What is it like to actually sleep in space? It's a lot different than here on Earth. You're actually kind of you know, bobbing up and down inside your sleeping bag. Is that, what does it feel like? It's a little disconcerting. And, and in fact, uh, for me to actually fall, in, fall asleep in space, I had to use a special feature of the sleeping bag to Velcro my head to a pillow. Yeah. And, uh, and that kind of grounding gave me the, whatever the, uh, the need was for my physiology to eventually fall asleep. Over time then, were you able to have a good night's sleep in space? You're not quite as exhausted because you're, the physical workload isn't the same. You know, your heart isn't pumping against gravity, your muscles aren't working against the, the forces of gravity through the course of a, a long work day. But I slept really, really well. Oh, oh cool. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are dreams more intense? They are actually, they're really vivid. Sleep is something humans need no matter where they are, on Earth or in space. For those who might dream of one day living on the moon, it's nice to know that once you get there, you can keep on dreaming.